Hey you guys. So night three was rough. Um, night three was rough and day four was just today. It's a hard. <laughs> it's a hard day, okay? <laughs> I'm so fucking cold. Like that's really just the only thing that gets me is like the coldness, okay? Um like, I am shivering. <laughs> and my clothes are wet. Like, I want to cry because I'm so fucking cold. Um, what I really want to do is sneak back into my aunt's house. Not a house, but the backyard to go to the van and change clothes. Like, I want to change clothes completely and sleep <laughs> in the van tonight. And then sneak out in the morning and then head on back um to my adventures but then in the part of it it's like don't do that so we will see uh but right now i'm in the chapel at usc uh charging my phone shout out to them it was really warm in here but now that i've settled like that cold so i've just been like shivering my hands look at my hands Right. Um, another shout out to USC. Got me some maxi pads. But I smell like blood. Like, I smell like blood. Uh, I tried to like shower today, um, this morning, which was another big mistake. Cause I was already cold. I was already wet and cold, but I wasn't drenched. And so, I took a shower in these pants, right? Um, tried to wash the pants with the soap and wash, you know, my areas um, and things like that. And so, I have made this comment before, a few times I have made this comment where I was like, the only issue that I have with homeless people is the hygiene. And I was like, there's no reason why you should be stinking, you should be smelling, right? You when there's showers especially like in the beach area but now i understand <laughs> i understand <laughs> and my biggest apologies but i got to meet a couple of people last night because uh, i did sleep on the boardwalk last night i could slept on the boardwalk um in this like in a cut in a building um and so i was just watching and seeing everybody trying to find them like coverage to sleep and one guy was like you need a blanket i told him no because i didn't want him to like use that as an invitation to be like can you can i share this with you um but i really needed that blanket because my the towel that i had found was drenched because it was not supposed to have rained yesterday it was not supposed to rain last night it was supposed to rain today in the afternoon so i was like thinking like okay i could make it my way to santa monica i could like you know do some hustling and then go ahead and by the time the rain started i could get me a room i could make enough for a room at least right but that did not go into plan it started pouring down rain last night and like pouring so my whole just just drenched okay and then it poured this morning and it just kept pouring and then there's like puddles everywhere because it poured non-stop last night like, I ain't never seen L.A. rain the way it rained today. But it's funny because yesterday I saw this, I saw this mural that said, I don't want to cry too. I saw this mural and it said, no rain, no rainbows. No rain, no rainbows, okay? So sometimes we want beauty. We want all this and that and the third, but you have to like go through some of that rain, go through that storm. And I've been talking about the storm, I feel like earlier this week, this year, I've been talking about a storm that's been like coming, like a symbolic storm, right? It's been coming for us, but it's very cleansing. It's a very cleansing, like this, this situation, this decision, it's not a... Um, a downtrodden one like there's so much peace and magic that comes with this one like when i tell you like 
God supplies your every need. You don't even know you need it, but God gave it to you and you just supposed to grab it when you see it. And so yesterday I saw a random shoe, right? It was just one shoe. And I was like, I don't know why, but I just grabbed the shoe and I took the shoe. And then I ended up changing the shoe and putting it on because what I realized was that the spirit was like, you know, your shoe is, is basically had it, put this shoe on, right? It's the same, it's on the same foot. It's the same foot as this one. You see how the shoe didn't have it, right? And so spirit was like, put this on and walk through the, the, walk through the water with it. And I did. It got me through the water because I know this shoe was, was not going to make it, right? Today, Spirit placed a banana in, in my budget. It was like, eat this. Knowing that I needed potassium because I had a fucking Charlie horse yesterday. So I was like, oh, side note about the bike. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. I want to talk about the bike, okay? And so I, I saw an opportunity and I took the opportunity and then <laughs> and then I was coming back, right? I was coming back yesterday and I was like, I'm over this bike. I'm like, this bike is so fucking heavy. I'm like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of trying to lug it through the sand. It's such a bitch. Like, and I'm like, damn, right? And mind you, biking on a bike, on the bike path is like constant up and downs, right? It's just so... I was like, I'm tired of this bike. And I was like, I don't want to leave it. I was like, but I don't, I want to give it back to where it belongs. And so I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And so this was all I was thinking. So then I, I rode it and I put it down. Like, I didn't put it down. I rode it. And then I was I, I, <laughs> I was trying to go maneuver around from where I found it. <laughs> and as I'm rolling past, this lady was like, that's my, no, no, she she was looking at me. I'm like, why does this bitch that is like, keep looking at me? <laughs> and then I sat down, I sat down on the sand, right on the other side of her. And then she came, she walked all the way from where I was. I was like, why is she walking over here? What's she want to say to me? I knew she was coming to say something to me. And she was like, that's my husband's bike. <laughs> I was like, here you go. <laughs> she was like, she was like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like, girl, you got the bag bag. <laughs> you got the bike bag. Like, what do you, why do you think I care? Because I was just like. <laughs> like I told you here to go. Like, I didn't put up no fight. I didn't say no, it's not. Or, no, no, I just gave it back to her. <laughs> she was like, you took this last night. I was like, I did. <laughs> and she was lucky because I was about to take hers. I wanted hers. But I was like, that might be a little girl. And so I'm going to just take this one. I was like, they got a whole RV. They, they don't need that much. <laughs> so, and I'm not a, I'm not a good uh, criminal, right? Like, Crime for me is not my strongest suit. Like that's why I don't do it because look how easily I look how easily I got caught. <laughs> Returning back to the seat of the crime. <laughs> look how easy, how easy I had gotten caught. Right, like spirit was like, girl. That's what your stupid ass get. <laughs> and you know, I got my karma for that, but that was funny. I was just crack up at that, like, <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> like, girl, like, I want to be like, girl, tell your husband thank you, because he really came in clutch. He came in handy for what I needed yesterday, okay? Uh, but that was funny. But, yeah, like, I don't like stealing. Uh, yeah, I don't like stealing. I'm not a thief, usually. Every blue moon, I'll steal. But I'm not a good thief. I'm not a good criminal, right? Like, I'm a mastermind and some shit, but I'm not really that. I'm not a good criminal, so that's not something. But <laughs> back to this, right? Because there's a, there, I have a plan. Is it's just based off of like how it comes together and how long it will come together, right? Um, 
and I could do it. And there is four. <laughs> Look, I'm like shivering, the phone shivering. So. I think I am gonna have to go back today and just get me some new clothes. Like, I can't be in this no more. <laughs> I can't be in none of these clothes. Like, all of it, all of it's drenched. Like, my socks are drenched. My shoes are drenched. My pants, my sweatshirt, my jacket, <laughs> the hat. <laughs> they all just wet. Um, but there is a piece. Like, when I tried to do this that time in, in Santa Barbara or tried to do it in Sedona, there was so much anxiety from the moment that I left, from the, like, and all these things, right? There was a lot of plotting, there was a lot of planning, visualizing, thinking, grandiose thoughts, all those things with those things, right? And that's why they failed. But this time in particular, it was never planned. It was never planned. Literally, I just, I took a shower. I had every, I was, took a shower. What I was going to do on Wednesday was, I took a shower, got dressed. I was like, okay, I'm going to hit Wells Fargo. Then I'm going to come back here. And then I'm probably going to do something, 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 right? And so I was taking my shower, right? And Tyrone came on. And Spirit was like, and I already had gotten a message from Spirit from a reading that I had watched on Sunday, right? And then I was just like, so it was like, it's time to go. Be obedient. Right, I take the risk, be obedient. And so, I did. I'll be obedient. And it was just this stillness that came over it, right? Like, the last couple of days been at peace. Even yesterday was like, it was rough because it was cold. Like, like, like it's now. It's cold, right? But I, I, aside from... Aside from the coldness, everything else is great. Yesterday, the sun was amazing. I slept so good in the sun. Today, I slept in the train. Like, I have these weird, like, I don't know if I'm sleeping that long, but but it feels like I'm sleeping and I have to wake up because it feels like I'm falling, right? So, I haven't really gotten the best of sleep, but I wasn't having the best of sleep, even sleeping in the van. But, two days before the Spirit told me to leave, I started to get very panicky in the van. Mind you, before I felt fine and dandy, fine and safe, right? But something was like, like feeling fearful, like with an end. And one was, Spirit gave me the download, like, stop smoking in this fucking van before your ass blow up. And Spirit showed me how I had been protected being in that van and smoking and lighting my incense and doing things like that, not realizing there's gasoline in the car. Right? My uncle got a container of gasoline in the car. Mortar oils and shit in the car, right? But I'm... <laughs> right? Easily could have got him blown up. And then I read the gasoline thing. It said it, it, could, it could shoot out vapors and start a fire in a second. Easily. I could have just been burnt up. It could have caught to that thing, right? Two. You know, my cousin lives a block away from me, right? Mind you, this is the one who, who bashed her grandma's front window in and all the things, right? Tormented. Um, and so, there's one with that. But but particularly, it was just, so I was thinking about this Jesus thing, right? So on Palm Sunday, the pastor talked about Palm Sunday and how, like, Jesus entered Jerusalem. It was the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem. And he said, they, they all praised Jesus. They was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He here, he here. All right, let's turn it up. Whatever, whatever. And then, I got some. 
It's so cold. <laughs> Pray Jesus, he's here, here, he here, he here. He was like, they were so excited to see him. And then they were saying that, uh, look, all my paint and my pants have been destroyed. Like, you see it? Like, all my beautiful art has been destroyed. Like, I really do want to change clothes. Like, I want to go there tonight and change clothes. And there is sleep in there, too. Even though, as I'm telling y'all the dangers, right? <laughs> of how I feel. Um, and so, whatever, whatever, right? And so they were very happy that he was there. And so the pastor kept raising the question. He was like, what happened from this day to one week from the beginning of this week to the next week that things go astray, that things changed? What happened to where Easter Sunday is coming and these people hate him? Right, and it was talking about how, like, you know, if you think about Good Friday, Good Friday was about <sighs> what, like, his last supper and things like that, right? And how he told the people, he was like, Some of y'all gonna be betray me, and so you get this message of like, Some of y'all gonna betray me, and and they looking around, right? He's doing all of these things for them, he's teaching them, he's guiding them, he's showing them the ministry, he's showing them his purity of his heart. It is love and kindness, and these people uh, denied him. So he was tripping. He was a false teacher. This is like Latin third, right? And so that's what spirit was revealing to me with my aunt. My, my spirit was like, you know, she plotting, and and then spirit started to reveal some conversations that I had with her. And you know how women are. Women, when they plotting, they, men be doing this too. What people do is like, when they have ill intentions, they'll like mention it. And you, cause you're not thinking of nothing ill, you probably, you just having a conversation with them. And it's not really till the next time you realize like, oh, they was fucking with me, right? Or they was trying to tell me something, right? Cause they had a trick up their sleeve. And so, I was watching Saintly Sanctuary. After I went to church, I went to the beach and I saw I was watching, uh, listening to Sanctuality's um, message, uh, reading, and she was saying that a wolf in sheep's clothing, and that the person is playing for keeps. And I think about how like she got like the vendetta signs everywhere, everywhere, right? She's playing for keeps. She's going in for that kill, right? She's going in with that. Now, mind you, my aunt has always had some feeling some way about me for the longest. It's been very weird. Like, I don't understand that. Because I'm the one who always used to hold her hand and walk her down the rail. So I don't know. All right? Like, and that's the thing they were saying that you would do people good. You would do people good. You would do nothing but love them. You would do nothing but this, that, and the third. And they would still. They will still try to fuck you over, right? They smiling in my face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers, backstabbers. And so tomorrow is Easter, this resurrection, right? The old you is dying. But also realizing that this was a time where people set Jesus up. But in this crucifixion story, it was the thing that they highlighted the most was that Jesus had the option to flee. <laughs> Jesus had the option to flee, and he did it. He allowed them to crucify him. He could have been gone. When the moment he got that, he was like, let me go ahead and open out of here. But he stayed for his death. He stayed. Isn't that beautiful? Um, it's, but that's not for us. We not stay when we get that download, when we get that intuitive hit, when we get that, that, and that, right? Oh, I want to go get me some more clothes, y'all. I don't want to get the clothes. 
I just want to change clothes, get out of this, put something else on. Okay, I want to sleep in that bed at night too, like, that be nice and warm, but snuggled in it. Ugh. But I don't want to go back. I do not want to go back. But I do. Just for that. Get some new clothes. And an umbrella. He got an umbrella in there too. But anyway. So yeah. He went back. I mean, he stayed. Um, and so that is for us, right? Now remember, don't get it fucked up. April is April, and I'm getting ready to get into stability, right, and get stable. I'm not having a, I don't know. Okay, so when I first, okay, when I did this in Santa Barbara and in Sedona, I literally didn't know nothing about nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing. I didn't know what I was doing, where I was going, what was I trying to do, who was I. I didn't know anything, right? I was just panicked, freaking out, trying to find my way, right? Can anybody out there hear me? Cause I can't see the in myself. It's gotta be a heaven somewhere. Can you save me from this hell? Is anybody out there hear me? Cause I can't see the in myself. I'm losing my way. But you know, this crucifixion, he died, and then on the third day he ascended from heaven, right? He ascended to heaven. And then he said, from heaven, he gave the message about the book of Revelations and how some folks is going to be wishing that they died, right? While well, others got the seal, and so on. And so, oh my God. So, oh. Going back into it, right? People who like the teachings of Jesus, aren't usually religious, just like Jesus was it. Um, you may have came from religion, but they aren't religious. So come on, put this back on. Everything is wet, even this is wet. There's no But going back into it, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know I was distracted. I was all over the place. Like, I had no plan for anything. All I was thinking about was social media content and how cool it would be to have travel content, right? Um, Santa Barbara, again. Now, Santa Barbara, I got the idea of what I, what I have, right? Which are my head, my, uh, my hair accessories. That's, when, that's the one that gave me the idea and again not knowing okay well what would i do with that money that was the, the issue like what would i do with that money okay even with sedona was like, okay but what would i do if i get if i got a job here what would i do with that money that has been the biggest question for me has been like what will i do with that money at least from over the last two years but now this year i know what to do with that money i know where to go i know how to make my money's worth i know this that and the third right whereas last year there was no clarity on that. The year before, there was no clarity on that. The year before that was no clarity. It was always cloudy and confused. Now, I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When the sun don't shine, I got the milky way. Oh, I yes, you say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, my girl. I'm talking about my girl. My girl. I've got so much love. Anyways, uh, <laughs> getting back to it. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to be here for a long time. Mm. 
trying to make it through and be in here all day, but I'm so cold. But there's no other place that's warm. There's no warm place to go. And the way that I had left my family was in a way that I burned the bridge all the way down, right? To where it's like, I can't even go to my grandma's house. Make sure that I burn. When I burn that bridge, I burn the shit, okay? Like, gasoline poured on it, fire, boom, boom, bow, bow, right? <laughs> but it's crazy how, like, over those two days, it was real to me. Like, how, first of all, how Jesus, how God has saved me from harm and danger, right? You're protected from harm and danger. And so I could have easily been blown the fuck up by smoking in that van, bro. I smoke it in that van. Um, but yeah, like, the decision was just so peaceful. The planet, like, I know that this is not like a, oh, this is going to be a month, two months, five months struggle. No. <laughs> I really only wanted it to be three days. I wanted it to be three days, but for up to a week. Right? Monday, Spirit said, grind. Grind, grind, grind. April 1st, you bet you better grind. Start of April, you better start grinding. Get into that money, get into the bed. But March was just balancing the chaos all around you. Okay, staying, staying centered while everything around you goes crazy, right? Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about my aunt and just like certain things that she was saying that insinuated like now that I, after getting it down low, insinuated, anyway, oh, this lady will kick you out. And she wanted to do it in a like a humiliation ritual, right? She wanted to do it in the most degrading, most humiliating, most dramatic, most cause the scene type of way. And we all know I don't like shit like that. And so it was like, you need to go because it hurt. And I could always tell the energy because when I'm with my uncle, me and my uncle be laughing, we be kicking, we be childish, right? We be singing together and shit. And then as soon as she come, whether it's like stay, like I'll take him to his his appointment. As soon as she come around that corner, the energy is like, oh, here she go. And she just talked the whole time about herself. <laughs> Constantly, nonstop, <laughs> no pause whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, right. Um, just how I had left my other other house, I had left her house because when my grandma and him, I left there because I saw like she's so tired, like she's been running on like fumes and she's been doing way too much and not speaking up for herself and setting boundaries and things like that and so she do so much that she be like finna snap and I was like she gonna finna we gonna finna go to bowl like she gonna finna put her hands on me right because if you remember there's energetic frequency this match right this but I had a like, like Judas. I had the list of people who were who were coming to portray me, even the one that I adore the most, right? And I was just thinking about him and how he was like, yeah, you like you would come, you would come on the first. And I'm not even thinking of y'all. I'm like, oh yeah, that, that's cool, like. But my uncle got appointment, so like, nah. Not thinking that he mocking me and he playing me and being like, fool, April fools, like you ain't ever coming here because I got a bitch. That I took on a trip, and there's that, right? There it did. And so all of these little truths was revealed uh, in the month, month of March, and it's kind of like, what to do with that? Um, not really having that much emotions for it. I told y'all, like I told the lady, like, <laughs> that's how I am with everything now. Just like, I don't know. <laughs> I have, I have something to be that I'm striving for. I have something to be happy about. Um, this is not even a. This is a. Tra this is a. A discomfort transition, but right, like moving into like homelessness, would be should be deemed as like oh my god, like so sad, but it's not like. It's not. I don't like. 
just think about it, like the freedom that came from that, because our biggest fear for things is homelessness, right? Like, I'm going to keep my job so I don't be on the streets, sleeping on the streets. I'm going to do this so I don't be sleeping on the streets. I'm going to do that so I don't be sleeping on the streets. But if you take the time to really surrender to sleeping on the street, you won't have no fear of anything else. Like, you won't have that fear to start that project. You won't have that fear to do this, that, and the third, right? And I don't know, it's not... It's not as right. Like I told you, today is because of how cold it is. But other than that, I think I'm gonna get hypothermia. Can a person pass out from cold like they can if they overheat? I'd be like, yes, give me a warm off of it. New blankets. <laughs> Don't call nobody. You just run across my mind. You just run across my mind. <laughs> um. I was just thinking about you and wondering what you're doing. I mean, what you've been up to. I know I'm kind of feeling strong. Let me take it like a minute. I love that song because she really like calling this nigga like, <laughs> how amazing. <laughs> like, nigga, <laughs> you trying to fake the night or not? I mean, how you doing? What you been up to? How's your life? How's your mama? <laughs> Was she really like, you trying to play? What you trying to do? Uh, I was just thinking about you. And I'm seeing what you do. I mean, what you been up to? Encourage myself. And let us train on. For the night is young. And I am far from home. Thanks be to God, the morning light of peace. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over hallelujah we have one more knockout one more setback right because that's all we've been navigating through is 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 how is understanding how to stay firm in your morals and your values while you go through bullshit and understanding that no matter what you go through, you don't got to do heinous things for it. That's just an excuse. Everything I move smells like blood. But I think that's just me. I think it's me. You know how you just be like, you get stuck on the smell. I hate this period smell. Oh my God, it's so cold. <sighs> For all I know, shit, bitch, my clothes could be out. They could have thrown that shit out. Like my mama and them. And it's funny because I think, right, I'm like, dang, why am I enduring all of this? Why am I putting myself through all of this when I could have just been in the van, comfy, cozy, cushiony, cozy in the van, right? But spirit is like, look at it. Look at all you pouring into this and look at, like, how you not receiving. First of all, second of all, it's not safe living, like, it's not safe being in this van. Like, three people was like, is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? 
And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but the way it was just like, it's not safe. But even though this, what I'm doing now ain't really all the safest of the things either. So I don't know. <laughs> I can't help these people. I don't know. What more do y'all want from me? Um, but yeah, girl. Yeah, y'all. Like, just in a matter of a couple of days, so this situation will be changed. Um, it's just about taking a leap of faith and believing in, in it and doing so. And setting and putting this fire up under me. Um, my mom is in a very good place. Oh. I need a, a heater. <laughs> That's what I need. A heater. But yeah, so this time I wasn't like being ungrateful. Like I think the last, the other times that I tried this, I was being ungrateful and and comparing and doing comparisons and all these things surrounding it. But this time, it was so intuitive. It was so spirit, y'all. The other times I was just thinking and thinking, thinking, thinking. I was like, ooh, if I could take this to here, then here, and then here. All these outrageous plans. But this time, literally, you're just listening to spirit. Okay, go here. Okay, be here. Okay, sit. Okay, stand. Okay, do this. Do that. All right? Uh, so we're at the very final, final stage of this amazing breakthrough. And I love y'all so much. Hold on, okay? Just hold on. We're going home. Soon I will be home. I have not been, I have been home less for over three years. 2021? No, the end of 2021, so 2020, November 2022, November 2023. Going on three years. Without a home. Yes, I've been living with folks, but a home, there is no place like your home, especially as a woman. Your home. Okay. There's no place like your home. And I'm still going home. I'm coming back home to you. I'm coming back home. This is my hand. I'm coming back home to you. I'm coming back home. I'm coming back home. Oh, so cold. Coming home to yourself, going to your home. There's no place like home. I feel like Dorothy, yeah, like, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> there's no place like your home. People are cool, yeah, like I could come over and visit, but I'm not making a home out of your home. <laughs> All right, y'all, bye.